something. I don't think Rebecca. All right. I mean, this car is literally the grippiest car I've ever driven in Forza Horizon 4. I mean, look at this. I am going over 120 miles an hour, and I can easily, as you saw in my racing clip, easily. This thing, it, it's hard to drift. I know that was a terrible. I'm not even trying to put it back straight. It's doing it on its own. I mean, I am foot on the floor, not braking. It's amazing. I really, really recommend this car. I mean, it's a, it's crazy. This car is crazy. And it comes standard with 326 horsepower, but I mean, I mean look at that. I didn't even break and I was going 120 miles an hour. You know, I'm really curious to see how many G's we're pulling. When uh, we'll go over two, two point two G's, G force. That's a that's crazy. And mine is modified, so it tops. It doesn't top out as much, but you know. Whoops. See, it has a tendency to get itself straight. It's crazy. Let's see, let's see how many G's I get on launch. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't pull that much when you're accelerating, but when you turn, you get over two G's and that's impressive. That is, wow, two G's. That's, there's no body roll at all. And I know I'm a real life automotive channel, but I mean, this car is grippy. As I, I mean, look at that, it goes all the way to the end. And I know the highway is not the best place to demonstrate this. That's why uh, I'm gonna get off here. Can I? Yeah. I'm gonna get off here, I'm even slowing down. Okay, here I gotta slow down. Yeah, this car's so grippy. Freaking goes over the, turn the the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try not to brake and to show you. I mean, I know I'm a bad driver, but. Hey Jack, okay, so we're gonna come up here and I'm gonna show you just how good this car is. All right, we're coming up to some winding roads. I'm keeping it floored. But as you saw in the ending of the race I did, just before I started talking, um, I was over five seconds ahead of all the cars. Why? Because I didn't need to slow down in the corners as much. I mean, I could almost not brake. They had to brake completely and I could just drive and go and not even, even mind the braking. That's what I do, how I do in the speed zone since I don't need to slow down. I mean, this thing, if you like to do races, maybe it doesn't have the biggest trap speed, but I mean, since you don't need to slow down, in the corners. See, I, I did three stars in the the speed zone, and just with this car, and it, it was it was 150 miles an hour. But I didn't need to slow down at all. It's a I love this car. This is possibly my new favorite car. It's because you just don't need to brake, and it looks awesome too. So uh, now let's proceed to how you get this fabulous girl. I think it's a girl, who knows. Fortunately, it's not a great drifter, but I mean, <laughs> the speed you go in quarters, you just, oh my God, look at that. 
Anyways, let's go see how you get this car because it's only right now that you can get it. It's only right now through the skill point shop. Uh, no, sorry, through the Forzathon shop. Great, thanks, man. Okay. Okay, so uh, to get this car, you don't go to the auto show. You actually have to go, well, you stay in the auto show, but you go to the Forzathon shop. Okay, and this is where you can get it. So it costs 200 Forza points, Forza Thon points, sorry. And I mean, it's a, it, a wow, I just love this car. And I'm sure that if you go to the auction house, um, I'm, maybe uh, you could find one. Let's see, search. So it's K KTM. So let's go to KTM. Okay, yeah, any day now, perfect. So for now, for all I see right now are those. So yeah, I mean, I think I think uh, you have to go in the Forza Thon shop for sure. You gotta collect those points. Ah, okay, there's one, there are two of them. But you see right now, the buyouts are at 20 million if the bids are at starting at 105. So, I mean, this car, 445,000. You see, these cars are going to get popular for those who don't want highest bid, 11 million. You want to go pay 11 million? Go get in the Forza Thon shop right now. This car is insane. I recommend it. Really, it's an awesome, awesome car. All right. And the customizations, you know, you don't need to do. I wouldn't fully upgrade the engine. Uh, that's just my opinion. I mean, uh, you can, I, I left the stock engine, but, and I just upgraded the horsepower a little bit. See, I have 471 horsepower, but look, handling is at 10 and everything. Speed's not the greatest, but you know, but you can still put a, you know, a 1.6 liter inline four turbo rally, a three liter V8 racing engine or a racing V12 engine, which produces 750 horsepower, but not a lot of torque as you guys can see. So, uh, I mean, I personally think the stock engine is your best bet, and you can even put the all-wheel drive conversion, which, you know, probably smart, because then this car becomes crazy, crazy fast. I mean, this car, if you fully upgrade it, I mean, and you can max it out, uh, you can max it out at like 560 plus... My God, you can you can have eight hundred, you can have seven hundred horsepower in here, with all-wheel drive and the grip it has. This, this might be one of the best cars in the game if you're a real racer, if you like racing. I mean, and look at this, look at the way you get in the car. Isn't this awesome? So, anyways, hope guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I do a lot of videos, mostly car content in real life. But I will uh, occasionally do a videos like these because Forza, Forza is a great game and it's all about cars. So, you know, why the hell not? But, you know, this car is just insane. So if you can, get it. And, uh, yeah, thanks to you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care, guys.